Okay. We're looking at our TBS Discovery clone. And this was a combination of two different builds really. Mostly TBS Discovery clone and salvaged pieces from X Aircraft 650 which are uh, these motors slow fly props We've got boss cam equipment on here to run the VTX Chinese clone camera giant GPS skids in the bottom we're looking at a back for the camera and the VTX which is got a ferrite on there OSD on the bottom got this thing hooked up to the laptop see if we can get this going here in a second we're going to run the L9R no telemetry at all so there's no way that in interfaces with the OSD so we're kind of out of luck there and uh, we're going to run a 5200 uh, Luminaire source we're pretty much balanced for that let's see if I can get the uh, laptop up So the drive comes up and there's a new mapping called and this was somehow there we go. Super X. I think the application is right there on the controller. And there you have it. So this thing is set up per X cope. This is really the uh, the difference right there. Uh, no gimbal, no SD, AV2 in 14.4 gimbal style for leveling. We're in version 1.08, so this is an older version of the uh, OSD and. Super X. We're going to have everything set at one pitch height, yaw, but I'm going to put roll at 0.5 and see how this is probably coming up blurry anyway. See how that goes, but just wanted to check and make sure that that was correct, and it is. Everything weighs in. At exactly 1968 grams, which is just at 2 kilos or 4.35 pounds. The uh, props I'm going to start with are the slow flies. I've got two sets of slow fly, which I'll use, and then I'll go to a uh, gym fan, which is a Grofner style. These are a little more flexy, but um. I'll try the Grotners after that, and then I've also got some gem fan carbon fiber, which are um, also Grotner style. But I've got two uh, sets of slow flies, which we're going to try. So we've got three, four sets of props. Also, it's worth noting that these um, uh, these units right here are custom made. So I worked with a uh, 
guy on RC Groups, and we came up with, um, let's see if I can get a better look at this. We settled on this design after uh, three or four different other failed attempts with other mounts. This is a 16 millimeter uh, boom, and um, it's got adjustable tension on the uh, boom itself which is in the form of that screw right there so um, that bolt and nut and uh, he countersunk the uh, heat sunk brass inserts so I could go with the uh, TBS standard hardware on this so that went really well. Uh, we're gonna run the XJT module we get about twice as much range with that and we're gonna rely on the um, L9R for um, that range as well so without telemetry um, and no RSSI anyway that's it oh yeah the center of gravity um, it's worth mentioning also that on this machine that is right here and the center of thrust is a little more forward and the flight controller is right dead in the middle of that down in there in the chassis so um, the 5200 balances itself out perfectly right there on that uh, center of gravity and center of thrust is not that far off so this is probably going to work out pretty well